got on the list your boys, the Migos, the North Side's finest. <laughs> they um, clearly have had some conversations with someone outside of the QC camp and contracts are under review. And what I mean by under review, there are a lot of uh, uh, frivolous charges, we'll say. A lot of putting the, the the putting it on the top as far as when they had that review or quote unquote audit done of their situation, and now they want out. They're wanting to separate from their entertainment lawyer. His name is Damian Granderson, represents other people in the music business, and the Migos, due to conflict of interest, stated in their uh, claim to the courts they want out of their record deal and want to be compensated for what they missed. How do you feel? about everything going on with the Migos because QC was dragged into this. The conflict of interest is this same lawyer represents the Migos and the record label QC. Uh, so P the head of QC did come out with a response to say everybody is family and everything is negotiable, but it seems like he hasn't talked to the Migos again. Mm -hmm. What do you think that there's trouble in paradise where this can be resolved? Now this is a huge deal. Mm huge deal so the issue is the lawyers hid the fact that qc was profiting profiting more off of the albums um that were distributed by capital than it appeared they were, apparently they hid that fact what you were just talking about then exactly then they weren't made aware of side deals that qc had going on that involved migos in which they got more money off of that and the migos didn't get anything so and then on top of that, they found out that the same people that represent them represent QC, which is an obvious conflict of interest representing the boss and the employee. We already know whose side they're going to be on. Now, P, he wrote like a four-page letter on Instagram, like vehemently denying unfair practices. But, bro, this is what happens in a pandemic, and you can't get any show money, and you're starting to look at your finances with a fine-tooth comb, and then things like this appear. I guarantee you, if we were not in a pandemic and things were normal, we would have never heard of this. There would have never been a review of shit because there'd have been no need to because the money would have been coming in and it would have been good. We said this on the show, dude. Like, I hate, we said this a couple of, I, I can't remember which episode it was, but we said this when I think Lil Baby got bought like a Bentley for his birthday or some shit. Hey, bro. We don't need to be, hey, hey, thanks, P. I appreciate the sentiment, but you could just give me the 200000 that that Bentley is worth. You don't have to buy me a car. Like, when we see cars getting bought, you flash back to Cadillac Records, and you think that it's a shuck somewhere tucked in under that paperwork, and it sounds like maybe that's the case. It's unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, that is unfortunate uh, based off what we've heard. And you referenced Cadillac Records. Juvenile told the story when he first got with Cash Money. Uh, and niggas was like, shit, all of them your cars? Like, yep. about them? I like that. He buys one every time we put an album talking about, baby. Yep. Um, <laughs> I say all of that to say, man, like, I fuck with QC and I fuck with P. And this is where you have to do your due diligence at the beginning if you're amigos, regardless of how much you consider people as family, and get your own lawyers. Um, yep. If a lawyer works for QC and he works for you, you're employed by QC, like you said. So his priority is going to be the person who makes him the most money. Absolutely, there's nothing wrong with that. That's you, that's how it's supposed to be in 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 the in the world, law world. I disagree with you in the point that the pandemic is what caused this. I alluded to this a little earlier when I talked about little babies rise, and I asked you what you thought, or how you felt about the Domingos would feel about not being number one over there anymore, mm. and. I think what starts it is two things, not just from their side. The pandemic, of course, now that they find two comb and it plays a role in it. But once the Migos start to see Baby getting the looks that they look that they were getting, because he closer to P than they are, and uh, once he's around more than they are now, and once he, you know, just it, it starts to get to a point when you're P, your your cash horse has changed, and as a businessman, you have to notice that. So of course, baby gonna get preferential treatment. He hotter than y'all are right now. Right. Like I ain't on, and I ain't not saying that y'all can't get hot, but right now he's hotter than y'all. Of course. Um, I think Pete did a good job in addressing it 
when he said that everything is negotiable and he, he alluded into in that post that I haven't heard from y'all. And we're supposed to be family and this is supposed to be a thing. One of the biggest breakdowns that we have in our community as black people and us, especially as black men, is the breakdown in communication. Not being able to have a conversation without getting emotional. From how they looked on screen, the Migos, P, Baby, the stories that were told, this could have been handled with a phone call. Yeah. Like, I, I, from how they looked Maybe. on screen. And then what Maybe. I'm saying is if you remove the emotional part out of it, you get the information of what happened and you call P and you say, hey, this is what my people are telling me. As opposed to going to file for the courts. Like if you have a real, I guess a trust or a family orient orient with that person, then you can present that to them and let them solve that problem. As opposed to well, he wouldn't have been getting over on me in the first place and I can't trust you anymore. Like, these are contracts. Combat Jack said it best, like, when he was talking to Dame Dash, like, fam, I don't got no ill intent towards you. I'm just doing my job. And, like, if you can't have a conversation with me about how I'm doing my job and you feel like you're supposed to get something more, then come and say something to me. You don't got to go if we are family and we're cool for real, you don't have to go do all of that. You can go file your court costs and I wouldn't see anything wrong with it. I catch you in court. Right. But you can't call yourself being what you said you were if you can't present that problem to him. And he said that he hadn't heard from them. He you claimed that this was his first time hearing about this. And I don't think that that's the way that you handle it. I mean, um, people feel betrayed, though, man. Like, it, they've been with him since 2013. That's where the emotion part comes from. Like, okay, that's business. You get betrayed in business. Like, you're feeling, like, people say business and emotions, like, ain't the same thing. It is like your feelings are going to get hurt. Shit ain't going to go your way sometime. How you react to it is how you become, you know, what you want to be, essentially. Now, like, to be like, fair, they didn't go on Instagram and say, fuck P and fuck QC. Didn't. That would be reacting emotionally. What, Call or, lawyers and suing and getting what's owed to you because you felt like things have been hidden from you purposefully. That is not that's business. That's how you handle it business wise. You don't have to call that's true. But that's after emotional reaction, though, bro. Like you, you're right, that is absolutely business. But the first thing in your head, like if you and I have an issue, the first thing that I'm not I'm not gonna call my lawyer first. I'm gonna call you. Well, that's that's it's a little it's different. Not, it's not, it's a little different. It's bro. not. And if you like I say, they portray themselves as that, yes, it can appear. One way on paper, but contracts right. are negotiable. That's what they there for. They ain't there to hold nothing in place. They there, okay, I want to have a conversation about this. And the contracts leave gray areas for you to have a conversation about this. So before I got to call a lawyer, or before I got to do all that, I made the decision not to call you. And that is the emotional reaction that I'm talking about. Like I made, that's an emotional decision. If I know this person, been knowing this person, and I made the decision, are oh, you trying to fuck me? Just based off some shit I read or something somebody else told me, that's emotion. That's emotional. Let, let me tell you why P put out that four page letter on Instagram. <laughs> the number one reason why, well, actually three reasons why he put it out. Number yeah. one is little baby. Number two and three are city girls. Because no, what no, happens? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You forgot number one. That's Ooh. Cardi B. Oh, I'm aware. She's, she's managed, managed by QC. Yeah, well, she just came out this weekend and said she no longer has management. Right. She, like, she, was, she was with a. One. Well, that too. That's fair. But. Yeah. The, he did that because what happens when you're on a label and your label mate says they're getting robbed? Everybody you immediately call now. your lawyer and say, "Hey, take a look Everybody at my shit." I want to see the paperwork now. I'm, I'm talking about take a look at it. Stat get like I don't give a fuck if you don't get sleep tonight. Pull that shit up and go through it and tell me, am I getting what they're getting? I need answers. <laughs> I'm talking about immediately, nigga. Yeah. Like, so can you imagine? The baby was fresh out of the trap. Can you imagine what his paperwork looks like, dude? Like it, we we can't be naive to think that when all we've got decades of people claiming the industry is being vultures to its artists, but see, that's to not problem, think that is, bro, it's it's a, it, but it's a it's happened too many times though. True, and too many times it gets too an emotional. Like people have to be able to have a conversation behind business. People get fucked every day, just because this person was close to you, it doesn't exclude you from getting fucked. And like America is a capitalist society, Facts. you should be able to have a conversation even if you do get fucked. 
Like you can be mad and all of that shit. You get that time to do that, but you should still be able to address it and adjust yourself accordingly as opposed to flying off at the handle, can't not doing business with someone anymore, not answering the phone. And I'm not sure that these things happen. Maybe the P is lying and try to reach out or didn't try to reach out. I'm not sure. Yep. But from the information that we've had, if you find out information like this and you go dark, that's that's emotional to me. And that 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 shouldn't be in my opinion, and that's the problem, the first instinct of people, especially in our culture, is to find out information where you think somebody's getting over on you and not wanting to have a conversation with them, thinking that they have ill intent against you for the rest of your life. And I will point out the locks and puff daddy. Like, yeah, right. like Jada Kiss said, we handled that incorrectly. Once we got older and realized that all we had to do was have a conversation with puff and we would get what, what was owed to us, Boom. Now Mace may not feel the same way. No, he doesn't. He's acting emotionally, I think. So like it's all about what you're able to negotiate and, and being able to have a conversation, in my opinion. I hate that it happened to them though, man. I I, yeah. I like the image of QC. I like the the brand that they were building. So you kind of hate to see it fall into that stereotype of the music industry. I, I hope they figure it out. Right. It make J Hove right too, which is never a good thing. Yeah, he called that. Not yeah, gonna lie. J Hove been calling that for like two years. 